boys and girls, it's an exciting Sunday. How are you doing? And how was your week? I know you've been good boys and good girls. So tell me one good thing you did this past week. Go ahead, I'm listening to you. Okay, that's nice. How about Irene here with me? Tell me one good thing you did. I washed my clothes. Wow, she washed her own clothes. That's excellent. Beautiful. So let's pray to begin our service today. Irene will pray for us. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Help us to study your word. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So, I told you it's going to be an exciting Sunday. Remember last week, I mentioned that today's lesson is so special. We talked about God last week. God is awesome. And today, we are going to talk about everything that he created one after the other. So, sit down. Don't move. Pay attention and let's learn together. The creation story is found in Genesis chapter 1. Everything God created is found in Genesis chapter 1. Remember Genesis, right? Genesis is in the Old Testament. So I'm going to ask you to get your Bible and we will go looking for Genesis, which is very close, and we'll read Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and the darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Amen. Wow! Did you hear that? And did you read that in your Bible? So in the beginning, there was darkness all over the world. Close your eyes. And what do you see? Nothing. It's darkness all over. So on day one, God had to create the light. He created light and separated it from the darkness. He called the light day and he called the darkness night. Wow, that was day one. And he said, this is good. How about day two? Are you ready to know what God created on day two? All right, let's listen to that one. After day and night, God created the blue sky to separate the waters above from the waters below. And this is day number two. On day number three, God gathered the waters to one side, then dry land appeared. He called forth grass and plants to show up on the dry land. He called the dry land earth and the waters sea. So on day number three, God created the sea, the land, and plants. On the fourth day, God created the greater light and the lesser light to show forth light on the earth. The greater light is the sun, and the lesser light is the moon and stars. So on the fourth day, God created the sun, moon, and stars. On the fifth day, God created the birds of the sky and the fishes in the sea. They were different kinds. He blessed them to be fruitful and multiply. On day number six, God created wild animals of all kinds. He also created man, the best of all his creation. He created them male and female and gave them power over all he created. After God created everything in the world in six days and seeing that it was good, he rested on the seventh day. Let's remind ourselves of the things we have learned today. Irene, kindly help me do that. What did God create on day one? Day and night. Great. And day two? Blue sky. Wow. What about day three? 
the sea, the plants, and the land. Awesome. And day four? The sun, the moon, and the stars. And what about day five? Birds in the sky and fishes in the sea. Good. And then day six? Man and wild animals. Man and wild animals. And what about day seven? He rested. He rested. That's great. Now that we know all that God created in seven days, it's important that we remember this, that he created all that to show that he exists and that he is alive. So I leave you with our memory verse for today to help you remember that. It's taken from Revelation chapter 4 verse 11b. Revelations chapter 4 verse 11b For you created all things and by your will they exist and were created. I read it again. Revelations chapter 4 verse 11b For you created all things and by your will they exist and were created. Our memory verse simply tells us that God created all things and by his will they exist i hope you have been blessed by the lesson today remember i told you all he created was to show that he exists today is a special sunday because we have communion and birthday so whilst at home join mom and dad to take the communion today and we want to say a happy birthday to all October bonds. We have a special message and prayer for you. Let's close our eyes and pray for all October bonds. Okay, let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the gift of life for all October bonds. We pray, Lord, that you continue to wrap them in your eternal loving arms. And also, Lord, God, to please bless them with your eternal grace, peace, joy, and understanding. And finally, about God, we pray that you also make this day special in their lives now and forever. Amen. 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 So, on behalf of Dr. and Mrs. Otterville and the Children's Church, we want to say Happy, Happy Birthday! birthday!